What's going on, boys and girls? So we are here with a new episode of GameSphere, and we're going to be looking at five games that you can play on Linux, be it native or Proton. So let's roll into it. So the first game we have up is King of Fighters 14 Steam Edition. This game is gold on Proton, both on and offline work. Uh, the base game is a bit pricey, but you can usually find it on sale. If you want a technically oriented fighter with timing and, you know, supers and everything else along those lines, this is definitely one of those games that you're going to want to get because it is a fun as heck game to play. And continuing along the anime trend of video games and fighting games, we're going to be looking at one that is just as technically oriented as King of Fighters 14, and that is Guilty Gear Sign Exerd Rev 2. This is the second iteration of Exerd Revelator. It is a rated gold for Proton. Online and online both work. Base game costs about 60 bucks, but you can usually generically find it on sale for much, much, much cheaper. That $60 includes all the DLC, the base game, everything definitely worth getting again a very technically oriented fighter so if you wanted to really get into fighting games this is probably one of the best ones to get into it does not can't hold at all but it will definitely get you acclimated to what to expect in an evo tournament so next up we have a free to play native linux game uh, fantasy strike this has got more of a cartoony kind of atmospheric vibe for the character design it again free to play the free to play includes online casual play online rank play practice mode and single match versus ai all the characters are unlocked totally free however if you buy the 20 dollar uh, core modes that includes local couch co-op arcade mode boss rush mode and survival mode Again, very easy to get into. This is not an overly complicated fighter. 20 bucks for what you get at that base price is still very, very justifiable. So I would definitely recommend this if you want a native Lennox fighter. And next up we have Tekken 7. This is like one of the biggest staples in any Evo tournament that you can ever possibly be in. There is a few different versions of this game. I would generically just go with the $39.99 base game. There is a $109 version of the game that includes everything. But if you are just getting into fighting games, Tekken, it is a good entry point in the fact that it can be a bit button matching. You can still get someplace, but once you start learning combos and characters and a lot of the system mechanics, it's a really, really deep fighting game. Uh, this has actually been whitelisted by Valve, so it should work as a native game, essentially, with Proton. Rated gold, again, get this on Steam. This is your Evo entry. And last but not least, we have Vanguard Princess, which is a native Linux 2D anime-inspired fighter. Think Skullgirls, but eh, honestly a little more fun, in my opinion. And the base game is only $4.99. So if you want to get into 2D fighters this is, and you're a Linux enthusiast and you want a native Linux game, this is probably the best way to go. And the DLC packages that they do have are not super expensive. Most of them are like a dollar or two. It's not, not anything that you're going to regret spending. So support native Linux development. Get Vanguard Princess. You'll enjoy it. I know I have plenty of fun playing this game. And there you folks go. There are five fighting games to play on Linux. Work out of the box. No issues. No nothing. A couple of Proton. A couple of Native. And they're kind of all over the place as far as where your budget may sit. So go enjoy. If you want to be an Evo player, these are some of the games that get you into that fighting competition. This episode of Game Series is brought to you by DigitalOcean. Now is the perfect time to dive into DigitalOcean. Their new app platform service helps you build modern cloud native apps for way less money. With that platform, you can build, deploy, scale apps and static websites faster, easier than ever using a simple and intuitive interface. Simply point app platform to your GitHub or GitLab repositories and let it do all the heavy lifting. Whether you're using Node.js, Python, Go, PHP, Ruby, static websites, Docker, and container images by running app platform on their own infrastructure, DigitalOcean keeps your costs significantly lower than other products. Plus, it's built on top of DigitalOcean's Kubernetes, providing a smooth migration path so that you can take more control of your infrastructure setup too. As a GameSphere listener and member of the DLN community, you can get started building your world-changing apps with their app platform for free. And it gets better. DigitalOcean will give you $100 credit when you sign up at do.co slash dln. Again, go to do.co slash dln 
and to get started with your free hundred dollar credit on digital ocean's new app platform and we want to thank digital ocean for sponsoring this episode of games here